Welcome back to Digi Bros, everybody. What's up? Had a few days off from Pokemon Leaf Green because, you know, we got busy. We got shit to do. Only like over a week. <laughs> well, there's been like three days that there were no episodes yeah. of this. Um, it's only been three days? Yeah. Not a bit. Hella time. No, man. But if it's even one day, people start asking me, is Digi Bros over? <laughs> And I'm like, guys, <laughs> chill. It's been a day. Calm the fuck down. You will know when Digi Bros is over. We'll, we will make we'll, a yeah, deal out we'll of it. We'll make a big deal out of it. Uh, so I think we both should have some pretty great stories. I don't know. From don't what we were like doing. I have any. Well, I have an amazing story. I don't retain anything I do. So, well, you had, in the time since the last video, you went back to work on that film for three days. Yes. You did all kinds of crazy, complicated looking weird shit. Yeah. And then you went on a trip with mom and dad out into the mountains yeah. and did a bunch of stuff out there. Yeah. If you can't get a story out of all that, then you're a fucking idiot. Well, I am a fucking idiot. I'll give you time to formulate your story, because okay. I have an amazing story about what I did while you were gone. <laughs> I was going to make this just a vlog by itself, uh. because it's funny enough that I think everyone should hear this story. But you know what? Whatever. I have a show for this. Digi yeah. Bros. So. Woo! Man! Alright. Oh god. Those of you who watched the two episodes that me and Shay did while we were wasted will know that uh, we were going to this Sakura, this this cherry blossom viewing festival. Sakura Con Kikimas! Not Sakura Con. <laughs> a, 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 a cherry blossom viewing festival that was going on in Washington, D.C. Mm. Now, uh, our cousin Boyd wanted to go to this. He's Boyd, a weeb. Boyd is definitely a giant weeb, and he loves, like, Japanese culture stuff. He loves events, so, like, and he's willing to drive whatever long distance to go to stuff, right? Yeah. Because the soccer event itself was, like, ten bucks for a ticket. No you big deal. Um, he was just like, I really want to see it, so he wanted to go up there, right? And he, he yeah. first told me about it, and I had no interest. I was like, I don't feel like driving for four hours. I don't care about this event, you know? But uh, Shade wanted to go with Amber, yeah. his girlfriend. So they were planning to go with Boyd, and I was like, okay. And then Boyd told me, well, you know, they've got eel bowls. Uh -huh. The unagi don. That's what got you, huh? Which is, <laughs> which is eel don. on rice, right? So I look up, you know, I'm looking at pictures of it, and I'm like, man, look, I love eel. And I love eel sushi, but they don't sell, like, eel anywhere yeah. around here. Like, there's nowhere you can just go and buy an eel dish. I've not found one. And I love eel, and I was like, man, I'd love to try an eel bowl, right? And then I was like, do you think they'll have, like, taiyaki? And he's like, yeah, that was on the list. And I was like, fuck, man. And I don't even know. Damn, son. I did not even know what taiyaki is. That's the one <laughs> that's, that's shaped like a fish. I don't know actually what is in it. I just want to know what's in it. Yes. Um, so I was like, you know what? If they're going to have cool food, it's only 10 bucks. I'm thinking, you know, when you think of a sakura festival, like, what you're told about them, like, is that, like the Japanese ones, is that a bunch of people go out into a park and they get fucking thrashed and they uh -huh. look at trees, yeah. right? That's that's all a sakura festival is in my mind. You drink a ton <laughs> of sake, you sit under some trees, and you get fucking wasted. The streets are littered with the, the bodies of the dead afterwards, right? Jesus. Yeah, like, that's, that's how it's described. Everyone just lays around drunk and fucking gets wasted, you know? Mm. I'm thinking of, like... Anime I've seen. I started thinking about Kofuku Graffiti, the anime about eating, where it's just like yeah. cute girls eating food, and they had a whole episode where they were like in the middle of the sakura trees, and they were eating like these prepared lunches that they each had and stuff. And I'm like, man, this I could it would be a lot of fun. Eat some Japanese food, sit under a sakura tree, pass out, you know. Yes. Now, of course, the night before, I wake up at like 6 p.m., so there's no way I'm getting to sleep in time for this drive. Uh. And I'm like, all right, I'll sleep on the drive. Okay. Of course I don't fall asleep on the drive. Yeah. Four hour drive, I can never fall asleep in the car. You know, and I was like tired before we left. Like I was ready to pass out, but I just can never fall asleep in the car unless I'm like beyond exhausted. So of course I don't get any sleep and this whole car ride up there, I'm just like, all I want to do is eat an eel bowl, get drunk and pass out yep. under a soccer tree, right? <laughs> so... Have you heard anything about this yet? Has anybody told you anything? No, not really. All well, right. Shane told me a little bit. So, when you hear Sakura Matsuri, Cherry Blossom Festival, yes. what is the only thing you expect to be there? Cherry Blossoms? That, you would think that, right? 
Yeah. You would think the one thing that is guaranteed to be at a Sakura Matsuri oh, would be Sakura. There were none. There were no trees of any kind. It was in a parking lot in downtown DC. Wow. Now, Very clean. Boyd has told me that apparently <laughs> they had changed the location from previous years. Which, I, why the fuck would they still I have it in that well, location? Look, I don't know that the old location had Sakura trees. Uh, I don't know that. But I the, do know that the old location had Sakura trees. I've seen images of this before where there's a bunch well, of Sakura trees for this they festival. They changed the location. Like, I've heard of the festival before. And they put it in a parking lot. Like, why the fuck? What's the point without the trees? There is none. And, of course, there's no uh, like there's no advertisement that's like, by the way, we don't have any Sakura trees. Yeah. You know? So, Boyd had no idea they had no trees. None Jesus. of us had any idea they had no trees, right? Now, like, and here's the thing, man. You know, I'm, I've got my vision of me passing out under this soccer tree, right? It, the way we did this, and of course, with situations like this, it's always more complicated than you're thinking, right? Because it's only 10 bucks for the ticket. So it sounds like, whatever, it's a cheap journey. Yeah. But uh, because parking in D.C. is hell, Boyd was like, we're going to park uh, at the end of the, the train line, and we're going to take the subway into town. Wow. Right? So we each get a day pass for the subway. A day pass is sixteen dollars. Goddamn. For the subway in New DC. Mm -hmm. So already we've more than doubled the cost of this upon arrival, right? Yes. And the parking lot turns out to be meter parking. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one with any quarters. Luckily, I was happy to f to empty all these quarters out of my wallet that have been there. But I put in three dollars, and that gets us about three hours. So we've only got three hours to even be here, really. Jesus. Like we're all saying, like, oh, we'll get quarters somehow, and we'll come <laughs> back and put them in the meter. But like, none of us are really planning to do it, obviously. So like, we've got three hours in the meter. We all get on the subway. I'm fucking dying tired. I'm like, you know, halfway between awake and asleep on the subway up there. And you know, this is downtown DC. It's like, it's pretty grimy. You know, yeah. like everything, this whole trip, I'm thinking about how, like we're on the subway, it's dirty, the, the <laughs> terminals are dirty, everything's Subways like dank cool. and dark. It was cool, but like, and, and it was interesting because when we got into it, it was on ground. And the first uh -huh. few stops were above ground, but then it goes underground as Whoa. it goes into the city. So like, when we left the the train like we realized we were like several stories underground huh. and we hadn't realized it at the time until we like went up but like i'm imagining as we're driving like as we're coming out of this tunnel i'm like it's gonna be so funny if we come out of like this grimy dark abyss and then we see all these beautiful sakura trees and you like don't. i'm imagining this scenario and so wow. then we're walking like the, the subway is like real close to the event right it's just like a couple streets down and we're walking up the street, and we're seeing, like, this... Alright. It's a parking lot surrounded on all sides by buildings that are... Half of which are under construction. Uh -huh. So there's, like, hardcore construction going on everywhere. This is, like, the most city, city place you could imagine. <laughs> it's all tall buildings. Half of them are in the middle of being built. There's dirt mounds everywhere. There's, like, construction going on. There's, like, things to protect you from falling debris from construction and stuff. Like, this is as industrial feeling as it gets. Uh -huh. And we're walking towards what is supposed to be a Sakura festival. And as we're getting closer, because they have the whole thing is fenced off, right? Yeah. And there's just tents, like, like you know, like, tent uh, kiosk type things lining the whole perimeter. So as you're getting closer to it, you're, you're like... Well, I don't see any trees, mm -hmm. but maybe they're in there. <laughs> and then you get to the front, and they have, like, a line for an ATM and then the entrance of the place. Now, Boyd had paid online, but none of us had, right? It was $10 entrance. And they don't, like, give you a ticket. You just give them $10 and you go inside. Uh -huh. But, of course, they were only taking cash. And so instead of waiting in line for the ATM because we're lazy, Boyd gets out a 20 and then Amber gets out a 20, and we were like, all right, we'll pay. But we both end up giving them 20s. So Boyd, who had already paid, get like, you know, we ended up giving them $40 for three people. Wow. As a, because Amber didn't realize I was covering Shade, and then she also covered Shade. Jesus. And they didn't question us because they don't give you tickets. They were just, yeah. oh, you got the money, go, you know. <laughs> so, we, we, so we've given up, you know, 40 already bucks to off. get in. Right. So, so then we go in. And uh, it's just, as far as the eye can see, 
stalls on stalls on stalls of like vendors and nothing else. Mm -hmm. It's just a fuck ton of vendors in a parking lot yeah. with a couple of stages set up where they're playing like, like one stage is like bands, like I guess J-Rock bands or something, and the other stage is like cosplay people and stuff. Cosplay. Because of course it's all weebs, right? Or it's like yeah. half weebs and half like, there's like a bunch of actual Japanese people there, it's, but it's mostly It's weebs. amazing that it's like, like our, our Virginia Beach Soccer Festival's fucking lame, but uh -huh. at least it has like five soccer trees yeah no this had zero this has zero like, soccer trees. we're walking into this the place this is supposed to be the real festival and as we're walking in all i can think is are the trees gonna be over there are they gonna be over there or are there literally no trees and there were none there was like three different sections there's one area that's the food area it's all stalls selling food yeah there's one area that's the random knickknacks and other bullshit area and then there's like a few stalls that are just like showing off some Japanese thing like yeah. hey here's a model railway of the Japanese Ooh. railway or like here's a, a sake tasting that's like way overpriced or like this other thing. It's essentially a carnival. Yeah. Like it really felt like a carnival. But Jay it's, carnival. it's in a parking lot. So there's nowhere to like s like sit down and have a uh, like uh, there's nowhere I could have slept. Yeah. You know my original vision sleeping under a tree. It's all asphalt. There's nowhere to sleep. And the place is packed. Like, there's fuck tons of people here. And yeah. everyone, every stall is a line. Now, if you go into the food area, because I'm thinking, all right, whatever, Japanese festival food. That's what I came for. Now, out of this this giant square where there's all these, there's these, uh, these fucking booths for food, there's, like, maybe five vendors selling Japanese festival food, uh -huh. and the lines on all of them are enormous. Jesus. Everywhere else is just generic Asian food. It's like al almost half of the vendors were literally chicken on a stick. They what all the had fuck? signs that said chicken on a stick. Like uh. everywhere had chicken on a stick. There's like some Vietnamese places and Chinese places, but it's all just like Asian food you could get anywhere. It's fucking blown. None of those have any lines. All the lines are for the uh, actual Japanese food, right? Uh. And the way they're doing this, like, you get up to the front of the line, and they've already, like, they basically they've prepackaged all this, like, food. So, yeah. like, they're, like, making it en masse, throwing it into little bowls, and just, like, you get up there with your money, and they immediately give you a bowl. And, and you know, so it's, like, it, they're just fucking, like, clockwork, right? And so, of course, it's, like, $7 for, like, a baby-sized bowl of whatever you're getting, you mm. know? It's, like, now, mind you, the food was good. I will That's say really that. Good. So the first thing I do is I, I, you know, after I went to the porta potty, took a piss because I was fucking dying, uh, came out and for some reason, here's the thing. All this week it's been cold, right? Yes. It was kind of cold. It was a little chilly today. It was pretty warm. It was a nice, it was yeah. a nice day, but it was a little chilly. It's been cold for most of the week. When we left the house, it was cold. We wore jackets. So we all come to this thing wearing jackets. The second we get there, it's the sun hot. comes fully out, and oh, it's like geez. 80 degrees, and we're all wearing jackets. Oh, Boyd wasn't, but me and Shade were, uh, and so... Should have checked the weather in D.C. on your phone. I just, it, see, it was, like, even when we got off the subway, it wasn't warm. It wasn't yeah. until we walked into the thing that it got hot, and it stayed hot. Do you see my fucking forehead? How sunburned burnt? my oh, forehead my is? Just my, the only good thing about wearing the jacket is because I was unprepared for the sun, at least it protected me because I'd be sunburned yeah. all over my arms now. The, the beard, I guess, helps your face too. Yeah, none of my neck or face got burned, just my forehead wow. is the only exposed That's really spot. like evolutionary practicality of a beard is yeah. to protect your face That's from the sun. That's probably why they exist. Possibly. But like, but yeah, so I got sunburned on my forehead, but it was, it was hot as fuck. And I'm like, at this point, I'm just delirious. Like... Because there's an initial, there's a moment, okay, I get into the line, and I get, uh, I get my unagi don, right? I get uh. my eel bowl, and I sit down to start eating it, and, like, I'm just sitting, I've, I've lost Boyd and the others completely, like, because yes. I went to the bathroom and immediately lost him. I don't see them again for hours, right? Because there's so many, this place isn't that big, but there's so many people that it's, like, immediately you don't know where the fuck you are, right? So I sit down, and I start eating this eel bowl. And it's actually good. The yes. eel tastes delicious. And I'm sitting this there. This is what it was all about, man. I'm sitting there, like, just in the state of delirium and hilarity. And I start... This is where I start imagining how I'm going to tell this story. Uh -huh. And I'm just laughing my ass off to myself about how... 
like how I'm in this situation yes. and like delirious with tiredness and heat eating this eel bowl by myself in the middle of a parking lot surrounded by weebs Jesus. listening to some woman talk about cause like you know you look up at the stage where they're doing the stuff and it's like this <laughs> <laughs> They've got like two lines of wall scrolls uh, across the stage, uh -huh. all of 2000s anime. You know, it's oh, like, God. like, like Subasa Reservoir Chronicle and Haruhi and Ah oh, My just Goddess and Full Metal shit. Alchemist. And I'm just like, yeah, exactly. It's a fucking weeb convention. Like people who got into anime in high school and, and nothing's changed. You know, like they're still watching the same old shit. There's still fucking Inuyasha cosplayers walking around. Oh my God. There was God. one Hisoka. Uh, oh. at least. But I think it was the same, it was, it was a, a dark-skinned girl, and I'm pretty sure I had seen her in the same costume at Otakon. I, I think I had seen that Hisoka before. So she was using her same cosplay from last year's Otakon, but Wonderful. like... Wonderful. So, there's all these, like, you know, just weaves walking around and stuff, and I'm sitting here eating this fucking Unagi Don, just thinking about how hilarious this whole situation is. And you know, it was good, even though, like, seven dollars should get you more, I was satisfied with the taste of it for seven dollars. I was not satisfied with the three dollars I paid for the tea that came with it, uh. um, which was just a can of tea that would be a dollar anywhere else. But like, so after I ate that, I was like, okay, I'm ready yeah. to like handle this, right? Like I've gotten over the hurdle of how disappointing this is. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna walk around and look at stuff. So I'm like in this this completely delirious, half awake, heat stroke like feeling like just wandering this convention style space you know it's basically just a big dealer's hall yeah. but out in the sun <laughs> in the middle of a parking lot in downtown dc uh where there's no greenery anywhere or pink or <laughs> any color associated with this thing. i bit my tongue when i sneeze and now and I'm like regret that. so i find an alcohol stall right and i'm like <coughs> all right maybe i can get fucked up on sake right there's like two alcohol stalls in this whole place they're both run by kirin ichiban Here's how they work. First they ID you, then you go up and you have to exchange <laughs> money for tickets. And two dollars is one ticket. For three tickets you can get a cup of beer, of Kirin Ichiban beer, so it's six dollars for a cup of beer. For four dollars yeah. you can get sake. But they give you like a shot of sake. Uh -huh. Like they give you like, like barely anything of sake. So I get a thing of sake, and I'm walking around drinking it. Again, the sake was actually good, even though it was just plain sake. Like, ordinarily, I don't like that stuff, but like, yeah. it was pretty okay. So I'm walking around sipping this sake, looking at stuff, and I find the one, like, weeb sanctuary, like, anime selling place that's got, like, all the character goods from the newer shows, and I see these Shirobako uh, keychains, right? Yes, yeah. And I'm like, oh man, Shirobako. And the, and the one in the front is Diesel, my favorite girl. And I was like, oh man, I gotta get fucking Diesel, right? So, so I grab it and I'm standing there and there's like a million people here at this tiny little stall. So like, you know, I'm just kind of standing looking around at stuff. And then they have this wall scroll that's for uh, Madogatari, which was like Shaft at their 25th anniversary event. They had these like, uh, it's like um, a poster of Madoka and um, Senjo Gahara from from uh, Baki Monogatari, and they're on this poster together, and it's a pretty good looking poster. Now, I have a, like a moratorium on buying Monogatari crap because yeah. I own more stuff from Monogatari than anything else. Jesus. And while I love Monogatari, I don't love it so much that I should own so much shit from it. Jesus. So like, I'm staring at this thing and I'm like, well, on the one hand, it's just another Monogatari and Madoka thing. I don't need any more stuff from that series, but it's it's like a kind of rare, you know, cause it was yeah. for this one event. And I don't know if I'll ever see this poster again, but it was pretty small. It was like a wall scroll and it was hung up. They didn't have any like in tubes. So I asked the lady who was working there. I was like, Hey, is that for sale? You know, or are there more than one? She was like, well, there's only one and we're selling it for $25. Wow. And I'm like, $25 is a little much, right? So I'm like, I'm looking at the thing. And then I look at the back of this little Shirobako keychain I'm holding and it's 12 bucks. Uh -huh. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know about $12, right? So I put back the, the Shirobako thing and I'm thinking about the poster. I start walking away from the place, like walking mm. away from the stall. I open up my wallet. I look inside. I look at the, cause I, I had gone to an ATM, like right when we got there, cause it didn't seem like a lot of these places were gonna take cards. Yeah. I was like worried about it. Turns out a lot of them will, but uh, yeah. I just went right to the ATM and pulled out 40 bucks, right? So 350 ATM surcharge added to my total price of this, wow. right? But um, so I pull out 40 bucks and I'm like looking through my wallet, I'm looking at the money and I'm like, eh, maybe I'll go buy it. I go walking back 
and literally in the time I've walked away, someone else wow. has come up and they're putting the poster in a bag for him. Wow. And I was like, you wow, up. I literally got cucked right in front of my face. I got Damn. cucked out of this poster. Now on the one hand, I was kind of glad because I was like, well, at least I didn't blow $25 yeah, on that, that poster. Was a one you know, of a kind poster, man. It wasn't one of a kind. <laughs> Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I was able to find one even at Otakon, you know, but like, yeah. it was it was something I didn't need, Fuck. and it was overpriced, you know, so like, I'm kind of glad I didn't get it, but then, uh, yeah, so I was like, cucked right in front of my face, and I just walked away, I was like, oh man, I can't believe I got like, literally cucked, and uh, you know, I'm walking around this place, just looking at shit, I'm getting bored quick, mm -hmm. I'm like, there's nothing to do here, it's just stalls, it's just nothing but stalls, and if you don't want to buy man. this shit, which is all overpriced, then there's no reason to be here, you know? They had, like, one place that was, uh, like, official, like, shirts for the event. Like, they all had soccer trees on yeah. them, but they were all girl cut. So it was like, well, that's hopeless, you know? Because they yeah. were really cool looking designs, but all girl cuts. So, um... So, yeah, I'm just, like, walking around, like, whatever. So then I go and I find... I look in... I realize I have this guide book that they've given me when I walked in, and it tells you what food they have in each of the stalls. So I find a stall that has taiyaki, right? And I go up there, and it's only like three dollars for one. It's five dollars for two, right? Yeah. So I'm like, sweet. So I buy two taiyaki, just because they looked kind of small, and I wasn't sure how they'd be. Uh, turns out taiyaki is just red bean paste inside okay. of those things. Wow. It's just like a, it's like basically a waffle around red bean paste. The mm -hmm. waffle part is delicious, but I don't really like red bean paste. Dude, red bean paste is great. I, I am not into red bean paste. Wow. That's why I don't like mochi that much. Dude, I got fucking steel wings. It's beautiful. So. uh... So yeah, I ate uh, I ate one of them, and of course, like it's red bean paste, so it's way thicker than I was expecting. So I ate one, and I was like, <sighs> like completely done. And then I just ended up throwing the second one away because I couldn't find anybody who I was with. So uh, so at some point, I'm standing around in the middle area, and I pass by Shade and Amber, right? And I'm like, oh, you guys, uh, where's Boyd? Do you know where he is? Because I couldn't get anybody by their phone, and they're like, oh, he went that way, right? And then they, they I say, where are you guys headed? And he said to the uh, Japan thing and walks away that way. And I'm like, the fuck? literally everything here is the Japan thing, right? Jesus. So then I go, I'm like walking around and I'm like trying to text Boyd and shit. And then finally uh, I go back to that anime st shop and I end up buying the diesel thing just because I was like, it's from Shirobako. I don't want to walk away from this thing empty handed. And I love Diesel. I'm buying it. I don't care if it's $12. I just want to have it because it's Shirobako. Yes. So I bought it. Um, and then I'm walking around. I finally find Boyd, right? And i am it's like getting close to 2 o'clock. And that's when our meter is going to run out, right? Like, it doesn't even feel like three hours have passed, but three hours have passed. And we're like, all right, this is... Wine. I'm I'm fucking bored. I yeah. want. I'm I'm done. I'm ready to leave. I'm like, there's nothing. I've walked around this place three times. Nothing new is gonna happen. You know, like they've got bands coming on and stuff that are okay, but I don't fucking want to sit here and watch some J Rock band. I'm done. Right. So I go up to Boyd and I'm just like, you know, hey man, how is it going? You having a good? Cause you know. Boyd's kind of the type who's good at having fun in any situation. Yes. Even if he's disappointed, he knows how to make it fun. Yes. But I was like, look, you know, our meter's gonna run down. We need to get out of here, you know? <laughs> and so we start looking, and I could tell Boyd was pretty done Venom too. Off. Like, he was like, I've seen everything, I'm satisfied, you yes. know? So we start looking for Shade and Amber, and this place is just getting more packed by the second. Like, there's just more and more people flooding in. So we're trying to find, this place isn't that big, but we cannot find Shade and Amber, because it's a labyrinth, there's so many people. And then finally I'm like, let's just stand in the middle of it, because that's where I'd run into both them and him before. I was like, let's stand in the center of the area and look around. And then we end up finding them, they were actually there. Or like at a stall right uh -huh. next to it so we find them and we're just kind of like you guys feel like you've seen everything and they were like yep uh and then we just <laughs> let and we here's the thing because we knew there's this chicken place called bonchon in richmond and our friend Donson is always hyping up bonchon and like every year when we go to otakon he's like oh we should stop by bonchon but we never have time for it so boyd was saying from the beginning that we should stop at bonchon on the way home and try out their chicken so i'm like hey guys Let's just go to Bonchon. Like, yeah. let's get out of here. Let's go to Bonchon, you know? I'm tired as fuck. I want to die. So we ride the subway back. We get in the car. Luckily, we didn't have a ticket because the meter had run out by probably 15 minutes. Um, but we, we drive. We get in the car. We start driving. You know, I pass out. We end up at Bonchon in Richmond. So we get Bonchon. Now, 
Bonchon's like a Korean slash Japanese place. Like, mm-hmm. it's mostly a Korean place where they have some Japanese foods. And it was funny, because the one thing that all of us had seen at the at the Sakura Festival, but none of us got, even though we all kind of wanted to try it, was okonomiyaki. Yeah. And they have it at Bonchon! Fuck yeah. They man. have okonomiyaki as a, as a starter. So we get an okonomiyaki, which is pretty good. It's really weird. It's a super mayonnaise dish. It's like it's like eating like a fried it's like a fried pancake covered in octopus and mayonnaise and shrimp and stuff and yeah. like it's pretty good but um fuck so we eat that and then mind you at this point I'm like way tired so I'm not really that hungry because I'm like ready to pass out yeah. and like you know we've all had food but like so re- like Don San's recommended the chicken at this place so much that we're like all right we all gotta try the chicken right so me and Boyd both get they have the small which is ten chicken strips like. Like, they have strips, legs, and uh, something else I don't remember, right? But, um, so if you get the strips, you get ten, and they're either spicy or sweet, right? And mm. you can get a half and half. So me and Boyd both get the half and half of that. Shade gets the drumsticks, which is five, and they're spicy. So he gets spicy, right? Yeah. And the lady says, like, you know, they're, like, the big drumsticks. And he's like, yeah, like, whatever, <laughs> right? So it's a long-ass wait for this chicken. But they bring it out. It's a fuck ton of chicken. Fuck yeah, like the man. most chicken you will ever get, ever. It's <laughs> only ten dollars, but you get the amount that would cost twenty dollars at KFC. Like it was a- an insane amount of chicken. Yeah. Shade's five chicken legs were each enough that would have filled me. They Holy were like shit. enormous That's chicken fucking legs, awesome. right? And me and Boyd got the strips, and there- it- there's like the strips are really like almost the size of chicken breasts. Like mm. like eat. You could put two of those on a sandwich and you'd have a chicken sandwich, you know? So, so these are fucking enormous. And they bring out all this chicken and none of us are hungry enough for this. We're all like, we're in way over our heads, right? And we start eating the sweet chicken and we're like, yeah, it's very meaty. It's pretty good chicken. But like immediately we knew that the real reason Donsan comes here is the quantity. Like he yes. obviously wants the, the huge amount of chicken. But then we start eating the spicy stuff. And remember, Shade got only spicy. Me and Boyd got sp- like half spicy. It is really spicy. Yeah. Like, they only had one level of spicy, so you're not expecting it to be, like, serious business. It's fucking serious business. We're all, like, crying and shit. Oh, my God. Like, they give you a side of, like, a little bowl of radishes, like, little, like, radishes. radish cubes, and those are, like, meant to soothe you. Yeah. So we're, like, popping all these fucking radishes in our mouth, like, trying to eat these. So me and Boyd only end up eating, like, two pieces, and we get the rest boxed up, right? But we're, like... We're, we're impressed with Bonchon. Like, yeah. more so than the whole festival we were just at. Bonchon was at least impressive. But here's the catch that I discovered later. Because I was like, whatever, I got enough chicken, this will last me like three days, right? So I have my Bonchon thing. I wake up, I get home, I pass out immediately. Yeah. Right? I sleep for like 80 hours. I know oh. Marcus was fucking with me while I was asleep. <laughs> he was spanking you with a PS4 box or something? Yes, he spanked my bare ass with a PS4 box. I didn't wake up. I didn't wake up till he left the room. Oh my god. Um, How did you not wake up? Dude, I was dead. I slept forever. I slept I slept till oh, 8 man. in the morning. And then, after being up for a few hours, I slept again till 3 p.m. I slept like a grand total of like 20 hours. But like, so I come home and pass out immediately. When I wake up, I open up my Bonchon box. And it has turned into just soggy garbage. No! Like, all the breading, like, turned to liquid. What the fuck? And, like, it was just gross, dude. I could, like, it's still in the fridge. I could not finish it because I was like, Mm. oh, this sucks. Like, totally fell apart. No staying power. Which is crazy because the amount of chicken they give you, they have to think you're not going to finish it. Like, she came to the table like, you guys need boxes? Like, it's something they're used to? Yeah. But, uh, it doesn't hold up. Maybe so, it was something on your end, man. Oh, well, Shade said he finished all of his because his was drumsticks, so they, yeah. they held up okay. But, like, the one piece I... Because I had given him one piece of my sweet chicken, and he had that in his box, and he said that that turned into liquefied garbage, too. So, you know, because he had, he had refrigerated his right uh-huh. when he got home. I hadn't. But either way, they turned into liquefied garbage. So, yeah, Bonchan doesn't hold up, but... It is an impressive restaurant. If I went there again, I wouldn't get chicken strips because there's no fucking way I could eat ten of them. Like, yeah. even if I was starving, I would eat like five. They're huge. Um, I would have got something like because Amber got like a like a chicken katsu and she finished hers and it looked pretty good. So fucking katsu, yeah. man, I'm obsessed with fucking katsu dons right katsu. now, man. Dude, I love katsu. 
But uh, but everybody Pork else is probably to. better than chicken cod. So, today. anyways, that was what that was my adventure from that yesterday. That was a hell of an adventure. I I spent probably like over fifty dollars and burned my face horribly and got and got nothing done for like thirty hours. You know, like no work done. Yeah, dog. Uh, in, Hard work. I, I can't say, like, it was such, like, the fact that there were no fucking cherry trees is just, like, mind-boggling. Like, how is that possible? Mm. So, uh, yeah, that was our adventure. Um, next time on DigiBros, we'll hear about what Victor's been up to. No! <laughs>